What is up guys, Doe here, and I'm bringing you tutorial number 26 over um, custom transitions, and that'll be using your pen tool in After Effects, and you can add whatever effect you want on top of that to make your transition look uh, very original. And yeah, so it'll kind of be like what I did in this video, my, my latest upload. See all that? Um... I kind of CC lens this uh, top and the bottom part in, and then I have Venetian Venetian blind this in, and then I have opacity faded the rest in. And then this advanced HUD thingy that I made. So um, I'm not going to be going over the HUD this weekend, but I will be going over this custom transitions, which have been um, requested for a very long time. Um, so, um, let's jump right into it. Here's my CC that I made. I I put it in a preset and then I added a bunch of stuff. And then, um, here, go right here. Switch this to quarter and we'll just run preview what I got. I think you guys have seen this clip before, but... It has taken a really long time to RAM preview because I have a bunch of stuff in that first adjustment layer. So, um... It'll be going to... I'll put in the transition at 9. But... We first have to get there. Okay, so we're at 9. Ah! So it's kind of twister, I'll disable the audio. And then um, <clears throat> obviously for a transition, you're gonna need two clips to make a transition. So I will bring in this uh, kill cam, it was from a long time ago. So um, it was a terminal bounce. And what you're gonna wanna do, or what I did was I duplicated this by clicking Command D. So you have two of these clips now, Let's disable the audio on both. And go to the top one, go to layer, time, freeze frame. So no matter where you go, it's the same frame. So now we can get creative. Let's go to full res and use our masking tool. So I'm going to go to full res, turn off the adjustment layer, and maybe mask roughly this little part right here. Um, get try to get his mask a little fast. Okay, so obviously this won't be perfect. Trying to go quickly. Alright, so now we can just go down here. Bring that over. Oh, crap. Fuck. And then um, get this one over with. Alright, here we go. So here's a mask, and if you see that nothing happens, but that's because this bottom layer is on. So if you turn it off, that's what it looks like. So that mask actually didn't turn out too bad. So what we're going to do is you can add whatever you want. You can add any effect. Um, you can opacity fade it in by clicking T on your keyboard and just bring it to zero, then keyframe it to 100. You can of course, you can CC lend it in. Um, I'm gonna try something new. I'm gonna try takes compensation and 
Let's see if I refer, uh, keep the lens distortion on. And then put it all the way up. Yeah, so if you put it all the way up, it appears to not be visible. So I'll keyframe it here. And then I want to go maybe a little, maybe half a second ish, a little less. So right here, and then bring this to zero. And so what this will look like is if we go here, put on quarter res. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty damn cool. I mean, it's a really good way to be creative. So a little bit before this is done, maybe halfway through, you can add something else. So duplicate the layer with the mask and maybe go here and invert it so everything else is showing. Let's delete the effect that we have on it though. And let's Nation blind the rest. Sorry that my keyboard sounds like a monster. I mean half the other, half my my other keyboard is really quiet, but half of the keys are broken. So a nation blind it, and which that would look pretty cool. Maybe thirty feather at five ish. Put this at one hundred. Direction at 45. Keyframe that. Go for maybe right here. A little more. A little less, actually. Then put it at zero. So what we have, if we look at it, is this. And it looks pretty damn cool. But um, also, also, if it doesn't look like if it looks like they're like a bunch of cracks, you might be able to see them here, but sometimes they're a bunch of cracks and they're noticeable. It's your masking outline. Yeah, you can see them barely. You can see them barely, but right after your transition, your like Venetian blind finishes, shift and click on both of them and then shift command D to split them and then just delete this part and go up here. Oh, and then turn the eyeball on. So now we have our clip. So I'm going to go back and then RAM preview and show you guys what it looks like. I think it looks pretty cool. You can use any effect, like I said earlier, and um, be as original as you want. So there you go. Um, there's the transition. Play one more time. That looks pretty cool, and I like it a lot. I'm actually gonna start using the um, optics compensation on non-reverse lens distortion. And if you want to see the clip that I used, Max. Changing Max. Oh. Watch out. Oh. 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 That was it. It was me using my leftovers. Um, I'm obviously not going to show you my actual clips, even though I don't have nearly enough to make an episode. So, using my leftovers. Don't judge. Don't hate. Thank you. Um, that's my tutorial for custom transitions. Um, I'm glad I got it out there. Um, my HUD tutorial might be next weekend. I'm sorry, but I'm still learning new tricks about it. So, there you have it. And, um... Just another tutorial on how to be a little more original without me actually, like, telling you how to, I guess. If that makes any sense. Like, it comes from your imagination, these, transi these transitions, and that's why I like them a lot. So you can use any effect, and it'll all look good. So, um, there you have it. I'm really bad at these endings, so I'm just going to stop recording now. <laughs> Leave some feedback, please. Bye.